You'll never understand me. Guys, what's up? This is Josh. I hope everybody's doing great. Um, so we have another box here um, to uh, open up and all that. The only thing that I have done is I have sliced the top here just so I can actually just open this thing. We don't have to worry about me like, or you don't have to watch me like cut the cut the tape or whatever so I'm gonna stand up real quick and I'm gonna try to get this as much as possible okay so I'm gonna I'm just gonna read this first then if that's cool all right all right let's see what this says object object C I don't I hope you guys can see that. Object C. All right. Object C. Okay, guys, this is supposed to be the Hail Mary of objects. This is one that is tried and proven for activity. Uh, it's proven by somebody in the paranormal field. While looking for Object C, I wanted to make sure that I... Uh, connected with the picture in some way or another, maybe a gut feeling or something. I came across a whole lot of objects with known activity. I even came across a doll that is supposed to be from Waverly Hills Sanatorium, but I didn't feel any kind of gotta have it now type of feeling. So when I saw this doll, I felt like I should get it. I wouldn't call it intuition. I would call it just go with the gut. So I did. We will see if this is a flop. There is an element of surprise with this doll because the ad states that you will get the story of the doll in the box. It also states that the seller's spirit bound vessels are not for the novice unless stated. Huh. And well, since you are no novice, Josh, I figured this may be a good one. So the listing says, meet Melody. Haunted Paranormal Vintage 1988 Doll. Huh. Item description. Um, all accountings that I speak of are of my own accounting and those closest to me. There are many listings like mine online and each one uh, are unique. If you notice, I do not list many dolls at once. Please see my positive experiences by others if you have any questions. So, mere, or excuse me, Melody. Melody, the spirit-bound... Uh, Melody Spirit Bound Vessel is what this says. What you will receive will be one doll as seen in the photograph. No chips or breaks. She has both of her shoes and is in great condition. The tag is almost perfect. That is what you are bidding on. Per eBay policy, as they do not acknowledge the existence of spirits, what you are bidding on is the doll only. Now, it does say here it works very well with the spirit box. The name Melody and Lyric have both come up. The story of the doll will also be included in the box. I have been involved in the paranormal community in one aspect or another for the better part of 25 years. Thanks to the military, I was able to learn more about different cultures, views of the paranormal, uh, when I was abroad serving. Now, in my home, I have a very large collection of spirit-bound items. All of my items work well with spirit boxes, EVP devices, and of course, though I say this with caution, Ouija boards. Over the next, or excuse me, over the years, um, I have been with eBay, came online, I have sold many dolls recently. I have decided to streamline my sales to ensure that only qualified people. Um, so my spirit bound vessels are not for the novice unless I list them as so. Most of my items are quite active and some are not exactly nice. Melody is a vintage collection doll from 1988. And so this right here, guys, is then the hand handwritten letter from uh, from the owner of this. And it says, uh, thank you for taking Melody into your home. 
As a doll, she is a wonderful piece. If you are going to be using a spirit box, please be advised a young male voice often comes through. Lyric is another name that keeps appearing. This doll has been in two different homes and responds well with relocation. Oh shit, okay. Uh, please take care. Her most active hours seem to be between 3 o'clock a.m. and 3.15 a.m. And I, I don't know what her name is here, but I do believe it might say like Melinda or something like that. Interesting. So guys, this is also like what I said before. This is what's labeled object, object C. So now we have object C, we have object B1, which is what I uh, did yesterday, um, which was another doll. Um, so I haven't even taken a look at uh, this, this doll named uh, Melody yet. Yeah, I wanted to make sure I had the name correct. So I'm going to put this information back into the respective packet, and then we're going to see what she looks like. All right, put that off to the side here. And let's see what Melody looks like. Oh my gosh. Ah. Guys, she's face down. She's face down in the box. And she's wrapped in bubble wrap. Oh my God. Oh, look at you. Ugh. So guys, this is, uh, this is Melody. Um, her face, her face is really creeping me out. Guys, this is definitely a different feeling from yesterday. I'm not going to lie. And I'm not, uh, just throwing this out there real quick, in, in no way, shape or form, in Am, am I uh, psychic or, or sensitive or anything like that? Not at all. Uh, that's why I use so much tech and gadgets and gizmos and all that. But I will say, you get a very strange feeling with this girl. And look at her face. Let me see if I can... She's almost pouting. Like, she doesn't look like she's happy at all. She looks sad. Like, isn't that odd? Look at this. The Heritage Mint Limited Collection. Wow. Guys, this is crazy. All right. Well, Melody, welcome. Welcome to your new home. Um... Jesus, I gotta tie your shoe. <laughs> Guys, I wish I could describe how this feels right now, but it feels a little, um, a little off. I don't, I don't know how else to explain this. All right, but it, it does seem a little off to me. Um, I feel weird. Her nails are. Her nails are painted. I don't know if you can see, if you can see that. Her nails are painted there. And again, it's the, it's the hair that's, or not the hair, but it's the, the, the face, the, the frown. Ah, Weird. You're kind of a strange little thing. You know this? All right, so you... Melody are going to be officially object C and you are going to then go and join in the back over here you're going to be joining object B1 and then we after we acquire all the items guys after we get all the items together we are going to then start um, doing a battery of tests and experiments and all of this stuff um, specifically with different pieces of equipment and how they may or may not respond. Obviously, Melody, it does say that she responds best with 
uh, like a spirit box type of thing. So I've got a couple different uh, options for us to use there. I've got like a geo port that we can try to use. I've got the SB7 as well. Um, but I have different things that we can absolutely try. So this could, <laughs> I don't know, this could be interesting uh, to say the very least. Um, so this is object C. Object B1 is already in the back um, setting out and, and ready to roll. So now we just uh, patiently wait uh, for the other objects to to arrive um, I'm very excited about uh, the possibility of object C here that is for sure again the the face <laughs> is creeping me out more than anything uh, so her face is quite bizarre because she does not appear to be happy is there a reason that she's not happy our porcelain doll collection this collection is remarkable value dolls of comparable quality often sell at significantly higher prices. We are proud of the quality and workmanship. Yeah, I get it, but guys, why the front? A slight twist of the upper arm can create animation of the doll when displayed. Yeah, no thanks. It's just talking about like the the quality of the project product or whatever, which is fine, that's great, but Jesus. Made in Taiwan, I guess. But anyway, guys, that's that's all I got for, for Object C. Pretty cool little backstory. Only a couple other homes so far, but apparently insanely haunted. Um, and tried and true, supposedly, as well. So we're going to put her to the test as well, along with the ob other objects that, uh, that come in to play. So, guys, I hope everybody's doing good. I will <laughs> um, file her away with the rest for right now and then start uh, working on some of the other different types of experiments that we're going to try with her and the others as well. But I hope you guys are doing good. We'll catch you soon. Peace.